Good morning, everybody. My name is Aaron. Welcome back to the channel. Today is National Peanut Butter and Jelly Day. So today we're going to be doing just that, making our own peanut butter and jelly from scratch. We're going to make fresh jelly, fresh peanut butter. But the only thing we're not going to do is make fresh bread today because that is kind of time consuming. I'm here with Chef Pichu to guide me. Ah, ah. Just look, look at him. Give me two seconds. Ah. Ugh. I didn't look up any recipe to make our own peanut butter and jelly, so this is all just coming out of my mind as to what I think is correct, so we're gonna see how it goes. Now, I could just be cheap and use this, but this is actually for my coffee because I don't have... What? I think we'll save the strawberries and stuff a little later, and I'm really excited to work on this peanut butter because I didn't look up any recipe for this, so I don't know what it's supposed to consist of. Obviously you need peanuts, or in this case I got cashews, because I want to make the best peanut butter jelly I possibly can. So we have the honey sweet cashews. I also have milk, and if I need to thicken it up, I want to use syrup. This is absolutely, these three ingredients are absolutely incorrect, but we're gonna do it anyway, because I got, I don't, I don't know what else to do. We're going just to pop in all this cashews. They're not cheap. Now, I will say, I'm pretty sure I need a food processor, and this is just a very, very basic blender. So, we're gonna, we're just, you know, just, trust me, trust me. Oh, oh I don't like that. All right, I'm gonna say it's pretty all well ground up, and it smells like peanut butter. We have that all ground up now, as far as making it creamy and smooth as peanut butter should be. Just gonna add in a little bit of milk at a time, not measuring it out. And that's also why I have the maple syrup, just in case I do need to thicken it up. Again, this is not correct. Don't do it this way. We're just gonna blend it up. It's looking like peanut butter. Oh my god, it's safe. And I have a spoon. I got a spoon. All right, so that's all blended up. Let's try it. Oh, oh, oh. So it's, uh, it's a little thin. Try it. it. Tastes very good. It's very thin. So I probably added too much milk, but let's add some, let's add some maple syrup, shall we? I think the correct sweetener that this should be is probably honey. But I figured since I got the honey sweet cashews, that would substitute for the honey, and then the syrup would just be used as a thickening agent. Man, well, let's try it with the syrup. Oh my god, it tastes amazing. It's very, very, very sweet though. Um, well, let's add more syrup. Listen. Okay, I don't think it's gonna get any better than this. Oh, that was a lot of syrup, wasn't it? Oh my. So this tastes more now like maple syrup and not peanut butter. And I don't have any, well. Fuck. This is my last resort. I don't have any fresh peanut butter. All right. This is as good as it's gonna get because I'm, I'm out of peanut butter. Peanut butter-esque things. Just to give you an idea, that's what we're working with. It's not thick. Hoping it would be thick. But if we want to pour it out, hey. So this is what we got. It smells really good. So we're going to roll with it. We're going to let it sit in the fridge. Hopefully it'll maybe thicken up a bit. I'm hoping by the time we go to spread it on the bread. So peanut butter step one, done. All right, so now that the peanut butter is done, we can jump into working on the jelly. So let me take away some of this stuff. Now... I might be stupid saying this. I don't know if you make jelly with actual gelatin. More than likely you probably do because it's kind of in the name. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to dice them up finely. I'm gonna throw them on the stove top with some sugar just so I can let it bake down and um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know, I'll put it right here if I figure it out. So as I'm chopping these, I did research a little bit about peanut butter and jelly. 
The main thing I wanted to research is where they originated from. Because the one video on my YouTube channel that is the video of Tara and I trying British candy, which I'll link down below, it got a lot of traction, like a lot of traction. It has close to 900 views, which I'm very thankful for, but I think I got them for the wrong reason. So Tara's friend who sent them from England, I believe she shared it with some of her English friends as well. And I think the reason it got a lot of attraction is because I feel like, personally, I feel like I insulted a lot of people because of me saying, Hello, governor, uh, long live the queen, uh, crumpets and tea and whatnot, yeah. I was really hoping that uh, peanut butter and jellies were originated in, in a different part of the world just so I could speak like that, just to add to the video. So here are my strawberries. Beautiful, I know. I did a fine job cutting them. Fine job, fine, fine job cutting them. And they will go into this pan right here. And then I'm gonna throw them on the stove top and let them uh, 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 cook down. That's not the word I'm looking for. By the way, if I'm doing anything right or anything wrong, put it in the comments because I need help. So let's go to the stove top. Let's start making these and then we'll work on the bread from there. Strawberries are the only fruit that can suck it. All right, so I do have the strawberries on the stovetop now just to, so that they can cook down. And I do have a little bit of blue agave to pour over top of them because it does need to be at least a little bit thick. This is, this is on a whim, so I, my goal is to make a delicious peanut butter and jelly. It might not be traditional, but it's gonna be damn good. Care to say that again? Also, I'm just now realizing that if my chopped memory serves me correctly, when people make jellies, they do it in a pot. That way they can actually move it around. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna switch it up real quick. We do not have any small, clean pots, so this, this is what we're working with. Okay, so I have the strawberry simmering now, and it smells good, um, but I think it's really gonna screw me over that I don't have this in a pot, so I can actually stir it around and break up these pieces. I'm really hoping that they're gonna get soft. I don't know, like I said, if I'm doing this wrong, let me know. I can make them again from scratch. And we haven't even started on the bread, so this is gonna be, this is gonna be a long boy video. So uh, stay tuned, I'll let you know when this is done. All right, so I just finished up, all right, so I just finished up my jelly and it looks really good. I'm worried that I actually did need to add gelatin to it to actually thicken it up. But what I'm gonna do now, I'm actually gonna throw it in the freezer that way it has some chance of solidifying into more like a glaze instead of a jelly. And yeah. All right, so we're back in the dining room to finish up our last step, which would be the bread. Now, this bread. You know, just regular store-bought bread, you can get it anywhere. F that bread. We're not using basic bread. We're using a big boy Italiano bread. We're making French toast, peanut butter, and jelly. So for that, we have to make French toast, which is why I have a pan, the syrup if we want it, and then we also have cinnamon, two eggs, and some vanilla extract, and I put away the milk. As far as I can remember, milk, sugar, eggs, vanilla extract, and cinnamon, right? Right? Now, the thing about vanilla extract, if you've never used it before, A, you don't want to use too much of it because it will overpower anything you add too much to. Secondly, you don't want to try it straight from the bottle because it tastes nothing like vanilla. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Done. Two eggs. I feel like the ratio of milk to eggs is gonna be off for this mix. But you know what? Never gonna know until we try it, right? All right, now we're just gonna add a little tiny bit of sugar. Oh my. Just, 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 you know, just a little. All right, then we're gonna add just the teeniest, tiniest bit of ground cinnamon. So this is really foamy. And I'm worried about that because I'm not used to my mixes being foamy. I mean, who knows, maybe this is right. Now that the mix is done, I, I really wanted just to do this whole and make this a whole peanut butter and jelly, but that's just not logical, right? I'm gonna cut it in half. Just so you know, this is what the French toast mixture is looking like now that we all mixed the dowel a little bit.
It's probably not the best bread for French toast or peanut butter and jelly for that matter, but let's cut it on this, uh, on this cutting board. So that's half. Yep. So now that the bread is split apart, I'm gonna throw it in our mixture that I have set up here. But now I'm thinking we should probably move all of this out into the kitchen. That way it's easy access just so I can soak it, drench it, and then throw it straight onto the stove top. So let's do that instead. I didn't really think this through because the bottom of the bread's kind of rounded, so it's not gonna get evenly crisp, I don't think. So yeah. All right guys, so I did finish the French toast bread and we have our jelly preserved strawberry mixture here, which actually sent very nice. And then my peanut butter, which also set pretty well. So now all that's left is to assemble it and see how everything turned out. So we have our French toast, our peanut butter here, and our strawberry jelly jam preserves, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to choose the crispiest piece I have, which is this. So I'll use it as my bottom. So I have the strawberry preserves here. Oh, Uncle Ed is whining because he wants my strawberry preserves. No. And this roughly took me about, about three hours. Three hours to get everything said and done. So now let's check on this peanut butter. Okay, so it did not sit as uh, much as I had wanted it to. But you know what? For homemade peanut butter, let's let's just taste it. Okay, so for homemade peanut butter, it is actually delicious. And I'm not just saying that because I made it. What I'm gonna do instead of putting the peanut butter like I would normally do on just this one side, I'm just gonna pour it over top of the jelly preserves that I have. And we're gonna see how that goes. I mean, I guess like, like you know, Let's see how, uh, let's see how runny it truly is. Oh, here it comes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. All right. Okay. Yes! Yes, bitch! Yes! Yes, girl! All right, so this is what it looks like all said and done. Don't mind this part right here. I kind of, I was really hungry. But the peanut butter is much thinner than I thought, but the jelly looks really good and it's staying very firm so i'm gonna try it let's see how i did the only problem with this is that normally of course french toast bread is not supposed to be used for sandwich bread uh because it gets sogged up and you know you can only make it so crispy so i'm picking it up it's holding much better than i thought it would so here's my thing first of all extremely messy terrible idea um, I did not cook the French toast long enough, so it's really, really, really doughy in the center. The outside's crispy, which is why it's holding up really well. The jelly is amazing. I don't really taste that much of the peanut butter. Yeah, no. It's so sad because I feel like this would taste exactly like a peanut butter and jelly, but because I made the French toast bread and because it's so thick, I feel like it actually really takes away from the peanut butter and jelly. I'm not getting any of the peanut butter at all. So let's let's just, you know, let's go a little crazy here. See that, that is where it's at. This concludes National Peanut Butter and Jelly Day. I hope you all enjoyed. This was fun to make. I would not do this again. If you've enjoyed the video, please like it, subscribe, share my video. And you can follow me on Instagram at hitmonaaron. And if you want to follow Tara, it is at Pterosaurus Rex. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and stay tuned for tomorrow for a new daily video. Bye guys.